Praise the Lord. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. we thank and bless your name. Akong pasalamatan o gaday ko niyong pangalan. Mighty, loving, powerful, wonder-working God you are. O tungod kay nakit anam mo ang imo ng gugma unok puno sa gahum ng pagpapuhat amhan. We're asking tonight that you stretch forth your hand and bless your people again. Busak karong gabi ito yun ang imo makamot o imo ng panalanginan ang imo makatawhan. We pray you save souls. Ako mga pag-ampo, mag-aluwas kag mga kalang. Mag-aayo kag mga masakitun. Tagaan ni mo kagawasan ang mga tao. Imuis sila katingalahan ng mga buhat sa ilang mga kinabuhat. Salamat tungkol kang imong pangalan kanunay nagatubag. In Jesus' name, we pray. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, nag-aampo kami. Amen. Amen. You can see that. Pwede na ta makalingkod. Tonight, the Lord is going to work miracle in your life. Magahimo ang kinog milagro sa mga kinabuhi. Miracle of salvation. Milagro sa kaluwasan. Miracle of healing. Milagro sa kaiyuhan. Miracle of deliverance. Milagro sa impit ng kagawasan. Miracles in different areas of your life. Milagro sa tanang bahin sa mga kinabuhi. Mark chapter ten. Karong gabi mo ato ta sa Marcos kapitulo jas. And I read from verse twenty-six. Pasaw na ko gikan sa twenty-six. And they were astonished. Out of measure. Og sila na hibulong maayo sa bakadagan. They were surprised. Sila na 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 surprise. They couldn't believe what they were seeing. Wala sila na katuo sa ilang nakitaan. And he said among themselves. Og diin na nila ang ilang isig kaingon. Who then can be saved? Kinsa ang puydi maluwas? They thought there was impossibility. Og nakit anila ang mga impossibilidad sa kinabuhi. Man cannot do this. Ang tao ni ingon sila dili makaiyuhan. Salvation in the Lord. Ang kaluwasan dinha sa Healing in the Lord. Ang kaiyuhan dia sa kinabuhi. Miracle coming upon the lives of people. Milagro mo abot dinha sa kinabuhi sa mga tao. Deliverance. Ang tingimpit nga kaluwasan. And when they saw the man that went back from the Lord. Og makit animo ang ilang maing panguna una gibalik sa kinabuhi. Among themselves. They were surprised. Og ingon nila sa ilang kaugalingon na surprise. Among themselves, they were amazed. Dito sa ilang ka taliwala na hibulong sila. And they began to say, Og sila ni ingon, Who then can be saved? Unya karon kinsa may puydi maluwas. I told you that what saved. Nagingon ko sa inyo. It's a generic word that has branches of meaning. Ingon niya ang kaluwasan usa kini kada kung a pulong a dagay sana. Who then can be made whole? Kinsa karon ang puiti mga makulog, hingpit nga kayo ano ba ko? Kinsa may puiti maluwas o madagalang kawasan? O ang katunga pangutan na gikan sa mga apostolis? Only one person can give the right answer. Isa lang katang puiti makahatag sa husto ng tuba. The Lord, the Savior, He can give the right answer. Ang ginoo nga manluluwas makahatag sa hingpit ng tuba. The Lord, the Healer, He can give the right answer. Ang ginoo nga mananambal makahatag sa hingpit ng tuba. The Lord, the Conqueror of Death and the Conqueror of the devil. He ang, can give the right answer. Ang ginuong naka, na, nakadaog sa kamatayol og sa 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 demonyo makatubag. Then give the answer in verse 27. Di sa pangalan ni Jesus mao kana ang nakahatag og tubag sa imong mga kamutan. Jesus looking upon them. Og nitan-aw si Jesus ngadto kanila. Says with men it is impossible. Niingon sa tao kini imposible. Jesus recognized. Si Jesus nagila. The possibility in man. Dito sa pagka imposible sa tao. The possibility in experts in the world. Kananga pagka imposible mas kina may experto sa tibo kalibutan. The possibility in the psychologists of the world. Kung imong tanaw na sa mas ekolohiya mga tao sa nas. And also try to change people and do so try to change the lives of people. They come to a point they cannot continue with men. This is impossible. Mga matang malamon ingon paniya. Ilang at sugdan paghimo pagusab ang kinabuhi sa tao pero di nila mahimo. Turning your life around, redeeming your soul. Iingon niya ang saving your soul. Luwasun ang imong kinabuhi ang imong kalang. Changing and bringing that needs to be changed. Tanan nga gusto ni mo usbul usbul sa Dios. To be saved. 
Para maluwas. Totally saved. Para mahimpit ang imong kaluwasan. Completely saved. Kanang kaluwasan na tinood. Heaven's grace coming upon your life ang and making grasa, you a new man. Ang grasa sa langit mo abot si mong kinabuya o gusto niya ang imong kinahulahun. Well, man, this is impossible. Di nasa tao kini imposible. Something that no man in this country can do. Something that no man in my country can do. With men everywhere, with men in every nation, this is impossible. Sa mga tao mas kinasa o sa tanang nasod kining tanan impossible. But we don't stop there. We don't go home. We don't say, all right, then I will bear my load. I will endure my sickness. I will stay under the load of condemnation. If you don't listen to the rest of the sentence, it's like nobody can do it. I cannot do it with men, with me, with all men. This is impossible. But Jesus continued and he said, But not with God. But with God. With God, all things are possible. All things are possible with all men. Not by all men, but with you, with me, with him, with her, with everyone, everywhere. God, Jesus said, with God, all things are possible. That's why I come to you to tell you tonight. Unlimited possibilities through the name of Jesus. Unlimited possibilities. The possibilities are not limited to a man. The possibilities are not limited in a nation. The possibilities in God, the possibilities by God are not limited to a few people. Those who have given testimony, the possibilities also comes to you tonight. Unlimited possibilities of the name of Jesus. And tonight, I bring the power of the name. The authority in the name. The possibilities in the name. The wonders in the name. Because the name of Jesus has been given to us. So we can have unlimited wonders, unlimited miracles through that name. In John chapter 16, I'm reading here from verse 23. John chapter 16, verse 23. And in that day, ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, certainly, verily, assuredly, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask me, ye shall ask the Father in my name, I will give it you. Whatsoever. Forgiveness we ask in His name. Ang pagpasaylo ng ayuta siya ang pangalan. Salvation we ask in His name. Ang ang kaluwasan ng pangayuta. Power and victory over sin we ask in His name. Ang kahum o ang kaniya bilagrut sa diya sa tung mga sa. Freedom from all the chains and shackles of the devil. 
We ask in His name. Healing for the incurable. We ask in His name. Restoration from a bad condition. We ask in His name. Deliverance from the hand and the power of the devil. We ask in His name. Necessities of life. We ask in His name. And what whatsoever our needs are. The needs of our children. The needs of our parents. The needs of the people we care for. Whatsoever. Your request tonight. Your demand tonight. Your desires tonight. Whatsoever. I ask on your behalf. Whatsoever you ask for yourself. Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father. In my name, I will give it to you. That's the assurance we have. That tonight, it will give you salvation. That's the assurance we have. That tonight it will give you healing. That's the assurance we have tonight. He will give you all the request of your life. Once again, I'm talking to you tonight. On the subject, the topic, unlimited possibilities through the name of God. Jesus. I'm going to break the message of three parts. Why do I do that? Why do I do that? Well, you have a bowl of rice to eat. You, you don't take the whole lump and put it in your mouth. You break it down one spoon at a time. So I cannot give you the whole message all like that in a block. I give you one spawn, one step, one subtitle, one point at a time. So I cannot give you the whole message all like that in a block. In the powerful name of Jesus. Present salvation. The same salvation Peter had you have today. The same salvation the worthies of all that they had. You've been reading about them. So saved. Peter saved. John saved. Nicodemus saved that same salvation at the present hour, at the present day, that brings transformation, that brings a change, that brings a total new direction in your life. Present salvation so, in the powerful ni, name ni Pedro, of Jesus. Look at, look at Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. In Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. A son like no other son. A son not like Adam. A son not like Abel. A son not like any other person that ever lived. Unique. 
unique, different, universal for every generation. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. That's what Jesus, that name Jesus means. Jehovah saves. Ang buti pa sa buti sa pangalan ni Jesus, ginuong makaluwas. The Son of God. Ang anak sa Diyos. Is the one that has brought salvation. Ang usak at tao na naghatap ng kalawang kaluwasan. The Son of God. Mawakining anak sa Diyos. Is the one that came with all the provision of heaven to bring salvation to us. Mawuni ang usak at anak na mudala sa kaling pagtagpo sa Diyos sa kaluwasan ng kaluwasan. And he brought for the Son. His name Jesus. Jehovah saves. He tells us there. He says, for he shall save his people from their sins. Since Adam and Eve. Gikan kay Adan o kay Eve. Sin came into the world. Ni abut sa dini sa kalibutan. And sin was everywhere. Ni abut ang sala sa kalibutan na mo sinasa. Like the air you breathe is everywhere. So sama sa kaning hangin nga imong gilanghap mas kinasa. Dos in Asia, dos in America, dos in Africa, dos in Pacific, you breathe here. We breathe everywhere. Maskin asa sa Amerika sa Asia ang inyong gilanghap ng hangin o gamua parias ra. As the air is universal, sin is universal. So sa mga ang hangin na asa tibo kalibutan ang sala lukpun pun niyang transgression is universal. Ang pagkasayub lukpun yung tibo kalibutan is universal. Kaniyang tanan ng mga sala. Listen to me. Corruption is everywhere. Corruption is universal. Ang pagkadunod o ang pagkailabdanon sa diliyaha tibuok alibutan na hitabuni. And many people come to control us. Dagan mga tao gusto nila kontrolo na ng atong kinabuhi. But they have all failed. Pero sila tana na pakias. They couldn't control the universality of sin. Dili nila pwede kontrolohon ang pagkatibu kalibutan sa salak. As they prevent us from this, we branch out to another one, another area of evil. So sa mga atong gilikayan ng isa, pero di ta magkalikay sa usalang kung kanautan ng minuatan. And yet, you know, when God created us, O kingo niya, gihimo ta sa Diyos. He created us not to live on the earth forever. Wala ta niya, gihimo para magpuyo sa kalibutan hanggang sa Diyos. He created us to come to heaven. Gihimo ta sa Diyos para muad to sa langit. Our evil, our transgression, our corruption, will not allow us to get to heaven. And God didn't want heaven to be empty. Pero dili gusto ang Dios nga ang langit walay sulod. Dili it want heaven to be like the ark of Noah, only eight people. Dili gusto ang Dios nga ang langit masusama sa arka ni Noah ng walo na tawong na luwas. People from every nation. Gusto niyang tanang tao sa matag-nasod. He wanted people from the whole world. Gusto niyang tanang tao sa tibok kalibutan. He wanted people from every generation. Ikinanglan niyang tanang tao sa tanang inorasyon. He wanted a multitude uncountable. Gusto siya tanan baga sa mga tao. But sin plagued everyone. Pero ang sala naghikaw kanato nini. And so God made a plan. O ang Diyos naghimo sa plano. That's it. There is universal sin. Na dunay sala ng lukup. He wanted universal salvation. Gusto po niya ang universal ng kaluwasan. And the only way it can be done. O ang kanang ng pangausalan ng kadalang nation, in my nation, in every nation. Mas kinasa sa kung nasod siyong nasod sa tanang dagdag. Is that was saying Jesus, the perfect Son? Niingon siya ng Jesus ang hingpit ng anak. Jesus, the spotless Son. Siya ang anak na walay sala, walay lama. Jesus, the sinless son. Siya ang walay sala ng anak. To come to us. Para mo abut din ni sa atuwa. And bear your sin. O siya ay mo pasan sa atuwa. And take away your iniquity. O kuha o na yung tanan na itong kapagyasan. And so Jesus accepted to come. O ang si Jesus dapat atong dawatul din mamun siya. Unique Jesus. Usakap. 
Universal Jesus. Jesus nga para sa tibuok kalibutan. Savior Jesus. Ang manluluwas nga Jesus. That they would save his people from their sins. Siya ang nagaluwas sa iyang matawag gikan sa ilang masala. When he saves us from sins. Sa iyang sa diyang atong ga We do not remain in sin anymore. Og dili na ta pwede magpabilin sa sala pag usa. Look at that man that fell into the well. Tanawa tong usa ka tawo nga naa didto sa And somebody atabay. goes there. Og niadto ang usa ka tawo Pulls atabay. him out. Nahulog sa tabay ko iyang kuwa og gitan from dying gi ginaluwas sa gikan sa kamatayon if that drowning man still stays there og kaong kanang hapit na malumos nga tawo kung magpabilin sa dito came out og dili sa makagawas and he said i just saved him from the well og muingon ka nga ako siyang giluwas gikan sa iyang kaning pagkat where is he Where is he? Mautana ka asa man siya. He is still in the well. Pero ang tao mas kiningon sa luwas sa mga nanapas dito sa boy sunod. will tell him you didn't save him. He is still in the well. Igno ni mo siya, wala pa man ni mo siya na luwas kay napa man sa didto sa You save him when you bring him out. Maluwas ni mo siya kung imo siyang kuha og gikan dito. You save him when you clean the corruption and the plague all around him because of the well. You save him when you clean him up. Maluwas di mo sa makaingon ka kung imo sang gilimpyuhan sa tanang mahugaw kay imo sang gikuha gikan ana nga tabay nga nahulugan ni. Yet swallowed poisonous water. Kung iyang nainom ang usa ka tubig nga maka And you pull him out. Makahilo gimo sang gikuha. And you don't bring the poisonous water out of him. Kung dili mo ipagawas ang iyang nainom nga tubig nga makahilo na pagyapo ng sakit It's ni not saved yet. Dili pa siya luwas. He is saved when the water, dirty water around, does not bring poison on him. Makaingon ka nga luwas na siya kung wala na hugaw sa iyang lawas. He is lawas. saved when the dirty poisonous water in him is all pumped out. Makaingon ka nga luwas na siya kung ang iyang nainom nga hugaw mugawas tanan. The corruption in the world that's the well. Ang pagkadunot sa kalibutan mauna ang sins in the world that's the well. Ang sipulo sa atabay mau ang sala sa kalibutan. The evil in the world that is the well. Dinis sa kalibutan mau kana ang gitawag niya. And the word of God says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Ingon sa pulong sa Dios ang tanan ang kasalak na kapsan sa imaya sa Dios. We were all there. You have been there, but Jesus has been giving to us that He shall save His people from their sins. Aron iyang luwasun ang iyang matau gikan sa sala. At tonight, He will save you. Luwasun kaniya. Tonight, He will forgive you. Karong gabi pa sa iluon kaniya. Tonight, He will clean the water, the dirty water in the well you're seeing. He'll cleanse you from that. Karong gabi yung limpyuan ng hugaw ng imong na inom ng tubig ikan at ng atabay ng nahulugan. And the dirty water in your heart. Ang ang hugaw ng tubig sa imong kasinta. Inside you. Diya sa imong sulod. In your brain. In your mind, in your habit, if that sin still remains there, lodged in your brain, still in your mind, you will still perish because of the sin inside. Tungod kay napang sala wala pa nakagawas mamatay gihapon ta. But Jesus came to save from the sin. That will destroy you. Pero karong gabi mo abut Jesus para luwasun ka gikan anang makaguba si bangkina. And she shall bring forth his son. O giyang gihatag ang yung anak na lalaki. His saving son. Iyang anak na makaluwas. A transforming son. Ang anak niya nga makapabago. A son that can do in your life what no other man in the world can do. Usak anak nga makahimo sa imong kinabuhi sa mga mahimo sa tao. And she shall bring forth his son. O sa iyang pagdala sa iyang anak. And thou shall call his name Jesus. O tawag na niya pangalan Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sin. Kay iyang luwason ang iyang matao gikan sa sala. Now, if Jesus doesn't save you, kung si Jesus wala ka niya na giluwas, do you have an alternative? Na ba kay 
laing pamaagi alternatibo if jesus doesn't take away the sin of your life and take you away from sin kung kung dili niya kuwao ng masala sa imong kinabuhi is there an alternative do na bay alternatibo laing pamaagi nga makuha na i'm sorry to tell you no pasaylo ako ng umuingon ko wala gyud laing pamaagi because all the people on earth Og tungod kay ang mga tao sa kalibutan. It's you have been seen us. Anan walay nabilin puro sana. One sinner cannot save another sinner. Ang usa ka makasasala, dili pwede mo lawak mo luwas. Everyone on earth has been, has been affected by the sin. Apektado sa sala. Everyone in every religion. Mas matagusa sa matag relihiyon. Everyone has been tainted by that sin we call sin. Ang tanang mga tao matagusa, siya gilamaan sa atong ginatawag nga sala. One sinner cannot save another sinner. Usa ka makasasala, di siya pwede mo luwas o makasasala. A black sinner. Kana nga makasasala. A white sinner. Ang kanang itom o puti nga sala. A brown sinner. Ang kanang brown nga sala. A yellow sinner. Ang kanang uh, yellow nga sala. An educated sinner. Kanang sala sa kanang pagkawalan edukasyon. A great sinner. Ang pinakadako nga anyone on earth maskin unsa og kinsa sa kalibutan no other name walay laing pangalan there's no other savior wala nay laing manluluwas acts chapter 4 look at verse 12 buhat kapitulo 4 bersikulo 12 acts chapter 4 verse 12 buhat kapitulo 4 bersikulo 12 neither is there salvation in any other wala nagyoy lain Nga kung diin makaplagan na ito ang kaluwasan. The person talking was talking in Jerusalem. Ang una niyang gisultian ang Jerusalem. Now is the idea salvation in any other here in Jerusalem. Wala yung kay tao nga pwede duulan para sa salakay sa Jerusalem. Now is the idea salvation in Israel. Wala yung sa katao nga diin makaplagan ang kaluwasan sa Israel. Now is the idea salvation in any other. He tells us there is no na other under heaven. Giingon niya sa ato ang mga walay isa silong sa langit. Under the sky. Silong sa sa pangalod. Every nation is under the sky. Ang tanang manasod ilaong kita sa kapanunan. Every individual is under the sky. Ang matagusa ka na ito gipandungan ta sa taas. And it says there's none other. O kingon niya walay isa. Under heaven. Silong sa langit. In any nation. Sa mas kinasa nga nasa. No other name. Walay laing pangalan. Giving among men. Nga ihatag sa mga tao. He says, whereby we must be saved. Nga diin kitang tanan makabatun o kaluwasan. But thank God Jesus is alive to save you. Salamat kay si Jesus buwi para luwasun ka. Jesus the same. Si Jesus makaluwas. Yes, he did. Today and forever, salvation comes tonight. Your deliverance comes tonight. Your forgiveness comes tonight. That name is still as fresh as at that time. And his salvation is still as fresh as at that time. Kaluwasan prisko gikan ato nga oras. And it comes to give you tonight. Og muabot sa para ihatag nga kalibutan. Present salvation in that powerful name of Jesus. Dawata ang kaluwasan ni Ana nga gamhanang pangalan ni Jesus. I come to number two. Mato na ko sa ikaduha. Number two is the powerful, powerful deliverance in the prevailing name of Jesus. Ong ang Gamanan nga hingpit nga kagawasan dina sa malinaugun na nga pangalan ni Jesus. The name that prevails. Ang pangalan nga nakadaug na. Like no other name. Nga walay susama nga pangalan. You know what has happened? Kabalutaw sa inaitabo. As people come to this world. Samtang mataw ni abot din sa kalibutan. Number one. Una. Death prevails on every man. Ang kini nagbinalaugon siya sa tanan except one man gawas lamang sa isa ka tao he died for our sins namatay siya sa atong masala and he told his disciples he said i'm going to calvary 
I'm going to die for the sins of men. On the third day, I will rise again. And truly, certainly, as he said, on the third day, he rose again. Death did not prevail over him. Ang kamatayon dili makapildi kang Jesus. Can you remember all the great men we read about in our nation here? Kung imong tanawon ang mga banggitan nga matao nga naa sa tong kalibutan sa tong nasod karon. All the great men and women we read about anywhere and everywhere. Mga tao ang banggitan lalaki ug babay mas kinaasa nga nasod. Death prevailed on them. They might have left some righteous behind. They might have left some books of philosophy behind. But where are they? Death prevailed on them. Only one man. The Son of God is giving us the Bible, is left that behind. All the other people that left any book behind, death conquered them. But Jesus, the Son of God, our Lord, Ang atong ginoo, a savior, ang atong manluluwas, sin could not prevail on him, death could not prevail on him. Dili makabuntog ang kamatayon o ang sala ng ato kaniya. That's why he has so much power. Mo na hinungdan dun sa grabi kada kung ano. To deliver. Para makabatun. Everyone. Mo hata ko kagawas sa mga kusang. Because of the prevailing name of Jesus. Tungod sa marina ukon labaw ng pangalan ni Jesus. Yes, has conquered every man. Ang tanan kini mauni nagapildi sa tanang mata. No, but you, the devil has conquered every man. Ang dimunyo ang dautan iyang gipildi gida ogang tanan. No human is a match for the devil. Walay isa ka tao nga pwede makikuntra sa sa dimunyo. The devil has prevailed on everyone. Nagbani na ukon ang kaaway sa mata ko sa. But Jesus. Pero si Jesus, the word prophesied ang kalibutan ng propesya, that that serpent, that devil will bruise his heel. Ingon sa pulong sa ginoo ang uh, si Satanas iyang kagato ng iyang tikod. Just his heel. Ang iya lamang tikod ang iya nakagat. That the crucifixion of Jesus. Si pinaagi sa nahitabo sa cross But paglalsan Jesus, sa iya. Jesus, the son of the virgin. Pero ang si Jesus na anak will crush the head Iyang of the devil. Ang ulo ni Satanas. What's the difference? Unsa may diferensya? Bruce the heel Iyalang is still alive. Buhi pagihapon. Crush the heel ang, ang katunga is nag still alive. Buhi pa ang katunga Even ang katunga ni Satanas. Even amputate the feet Maskin, putul pang yang tiin. is still alive. Pero buhi pagihapon. But, Bruce the head. Pero ang katung nagtamak sa ulo. the head. Katung nag. You prevail totally on that devil. Ang atong ginoo nagpinadaugon siya sa kaisatanas. Death could not prevail on him. Dili makadaug ang kamatayon. The devil could not prevail on him. Dili makabuntog ang demonyo sa iyaha. And disease could not prevail on him. Balatian dili makabuntog kang Jesus. That's why he went about doing good. Mo na hinungdan nga ni Abut sa pagkibog maayo. And healing all that were oppressed of the devil. O iyang giayo tagano kagawasan ng gigi. Because Jesus is the prevailing one. Tungod kay si Jesus ang usa ka tawong madinaugon kanunay. O karong gabi. As you give your life to Christ. Samtang atong nga ta katong kinabuhi ka Christ. Everyone you surrender your mind to. Matagusa atong itugyan na tong una-una diha kaniya. They cannot deliver you. Dili siguro ka makabatong. Everyone that has tried to help you. Man basig dunay tawo nga gusto mo tabang nimo. Ni man a better woman. Everything that prevailed on you before is still prevailing on you. 
Kung imong tanaw di kaniya matabangan na agyapo ng imong sakit o balat. The name of Jesus. Pero ang pangalan ni Jesus. The prevailing name of Jesus. Ang walay bakabuntog ng pangalan ni Jesus. The one that has come to give you powerful deliverance. Siya lang ang makahatag kanibo bakus ganon na kagawasan. And tonight, whatever has prevailed on you before. Maskin karong gabi, maskin unsa tung nagbuntog kanibo sa una. Whatever has put your mouth in the mud. O ang katung katung mga nagmumo sa imo asa kaniputi. Whatever has robbed your life and rubbish your life in the mud. Ang naghatag kanimo o kaningugaw nga nga gikan sa lapok sa imo kinabuhi. Whatever has prevailed on you. Ang tanan nga na na napildihan nimo sa una. The prevailing name of Jesus is here tonight. Pero ang dili mapili mabuntog nga pangalan ni Jesus na dinhi karon gabi. Will deliver you. Iya kang tagaan o gimpit ng kagawasan. Look at Colossians chapter one. Colossians chapter one. And I'm reading from verse thirteen. Versículo trece. Colossians chapter one. Colossians one. Verse thirteen. Versículo trece. Who has delivered us? Look at that. Kaniya ng nagahatag ka na to kagawasan. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. When the doctor treats you, and you try to solve the present problem. He sends you back to the same place you came from. If your problem started with mosquitoes biting you, Kung ang imong problema gikan sa paak sa kaninga mosquito, the doctor treats you and sends you back to that same place. More mosquitoes will still bite you. Pero kung mo balik ka dito sa imong dapit din kagipakakan sa mga lamok, paakan giapong ka, paakon giapong ka sa lamok. If your problem came, kung ang imong problema ni abo, as a result of the water you were drinking in your community, resulta sa imang tubig nga ginainom, you go to the doctor, mahato ka sa doktor, he helps you a little, i iya kang gitabangan, and he sends you back. So the same place and the water ibanik, you are drinking. Dito sa tubig na imong nainuman nga hugaw. Everyone that tries to help us on earth. Ang tanang tao nga gusto tinya tabangan dinhi sa kalibutan. They give us a little help. Gitagaan ta nila tinuod og gamay tabang. Send us back to where we came from. Pero mo balik gyapunta sa dapit din ta gikan. Jesus only Jesus. Si Jesus og si Jesus lamang. Jesus the only savior. Si Jesus ang naginusawa nga maluluwas. Jesus the only deliverer. Siya ang naginusawa nga Jesus the only healer. Siya lamang ang makatambal kanato. The one that delivered us from the power of darkness. Siya ang Nagahatag ka na itong kagawasan gikan sa kahom sa kagigit. And he doesn't send us to where we came from. O dili na tanya ibalik dito sa dapit sa kagigit. He delivers us from the plague of darkness. Iya tang gitagaan o kagawasan gikan sa kamatayon sa kagigit. He does not send us to the very source of that problem. O dili tanya ibalik anang tuburan sa problema na ito. He has translated us. Iya tang ibalhin. He takes us away from the jurisdiction of the power of darkness. He takes us away from the place all those things overcame us in the past. Has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. And then he tells us in verse 14. In, in verse 14, in whom we have redemption. 
Dia kaniya adunay paglukat. In Christ, in whom we have redemption. Dinakang Kristo din kita nakabatunog paglukat. Through His blood. Pinaagi siyang dugo. Even the forgiveness of sin. Maskin ang kapasayluanan sa tanang mga salat. The forgiveness of sin. Ang kapasaylo sa tanang mga salat. Now you understand. Sometimes a man tells us, "I forgive you." Usay ato masabdan inunda sa tao gipasaylo tanaka. But what you did wrong is still in his brain, in his mind. Pero ang dili mo ngadili maayon nagpabilin sa unak unak sa utok sa tao. I forgive you. Gipasaylo tanaka. But even you yourself, you still have the remembrance of what you have done. In your heart. Pero mas kini ka adunay remembrance o paginumdum sa naitabu si mukasing ka. I forgive you. Gipasaylo tanaka. And you're still suspecting he might still take it on me. Siguro gipasaylo nani mo pero nagsuspit sa kagiyapon ay ang ibalik ang yagi mo si mukasing. Jesus is the only one. Pero si Jesus ang nagini usara. That brings total. Forgiveness. And he wipes out everything that was written down concerning you from the book in heaven. Iyang tanggalon, lukat, kuwao ng mga sala, o sa imong kinabugi, iyang ibalin dito sa libro. Jesus forgives you. Si Jesus nagpasaylo ka ni mo. And you cannot find a trace of the sins you are forgiven of in any book in heaven. O dili na giyon makaplagan ang timailang ikaw nga nakasala sa libro sa langit. In God's own mind. Dito sa hula-hula sa Diyos. In God's own memory. Dito sa memorya sa Diyos. There's no remembrance of the sin He has forgiven. Wala na say kaning inumduman pa sa sala nga iyan ang ipasaylo. In your mind. Ang imong una-una. It cleanses your mind. Iyang gilimpyo ang imong una-una. It blots out the remembrance of the sin. Iyang gitanggal ang tanang palumduman sa sala. It takes the guilt away. Ginakuha niyang tanang. It takes the condemnation away. Ginakuha niyang imong pagkasadaan. It takes the fear of future judgment away from you. Ginakuha niyang kahadlok na ikahukman unta sa silot. In Him only. Dinha kaniya lamang. In Christ only. Diya kang Kristo lamang. In Jesus alone. Kang Jesus lamang. He gives us the forgiveness of sins. Nagaantal niya ka pa sa iluanan sa mga sala. With the forgiveness. O sa may kaning pagbasaylo. Now here on earth. Karun diri sa kalibutan. A man might say, I forgive you. Diri sa kalibutan ang tamo ingon pa sa iluan. Even the judge of the land can say, all right. We forgive you. Maskin ang mahukom sa mahukmanan, may ngun nga, ipasailun ta ka. You can go. Pwede na ka mula ka. But the judge cannot follow you about. Pero ang hukom, ang judge, did sa makasunod. When you have temptation to do the same thing that brought you to the judge. Nga doon ay pagtintal ka ni mo, pag-usap sa susama nga sala, nga mudala ka ni mo. The judge you said, I forgive you, cannot give you the strength and the power to overcome that temptation. Ang ang hukom nga nagingon sa iba pag ipasailo ta na ka, dili makahatag o gahomong kusog para imong madaog ang temptasyon sa kinabuhi. The peculiarity of Christ is that He says, if you open the door, I come to live in your heart. Ang pagkapinasahin ni Jesus na gaingon siya, kung imong ablihan, ang imong kasing-kasing musulun ko niya. When He has forgiven you, O ako takang pasay loon. He goes about with you. O iyang puyaan ang imong kasing-kasing. If you have any temptation, he says, I'm here. He says, devil, this one is redeemed. He has redemption. Go your way. Ingun niya kung doon na na po'y mutintal ka ni mo si Jesus mo ingun. Pasagdain niya kang iyang masalagi pa sa ilo na o mula kao ka. He gives you pardon for your sin. Iya kang kitagaan o pardon o pagpasailo sa ilpid sa ibong salak. He gives you power over your sin. Gahom sa mga sala. Pardon. Pagpasaylo. But that's not enough. Diligo. I need power. Naghatag sa gahom. The power to overcome all the sins that Christ has forgiven. Gahom sa pagdaog sa tanan ng mga sala ngagi. Pasaylo na sa Diyos. Deliverance. 
Ang hingpit nga kagawasan. All the afflictions of Satan. Sa tanan nga mga mapagsak All the attacks of Satan. Sa tanang attack ni Satanas. He gets you away from that. Buwaon ka sa ginugi ka nila. Because you are translated into his heavenly kingdom. Tungod kay gibali na ka sa ginoo didto sa langit noon nga gingharian. And tonight. O karong gabi. Whosoever Maskin si Kinsa shall call ang mutawag on the name of the Lord sa pangalan sa Gino shall be saved manuwas shall be delivered makabatuno kagawasan shall be healed makabatuno o kingpit na kayuhan tonight the blessing of God is coming upon your life karong gabi mo doon ang kaluoy sa Diyos si Mang Kinamuhi you'll be a partaker you'll be a receiver Og ikaw ang katong mudawat, og ikaw ang katong makaangkon ini. I come to number three now. Sa ikatulo, buhat to ta. Is the pledge restoration by the priestly name of Jesus. Ang iyang gipangayo, ang iyang gipangako nga pagpasiguli ngadto sa parianon. The pledge restoration. Ang ang kaning pagpasiguli. He has pledged he has promised he has provided the restoration Adam could not have that Eva could not have that when they ate the forbidden fruit and God said Adam Adam where are you? I heard your voice in the garden and I'm hiding myself. Why are you hiding yourself? Because I'm naked. Who told you? You are naked. Have you eaten that forbidden fruit? The wife you give me, give me the fruit and I eat. Ang ang asawa ng imong gihatag kanato, kanako gihatag ni ang prutas o akong gikaon. Im. Si iba. Mrs. Adam. Si Mrs. Di Adam. What have you done? Ang sa may imong gihimo. The serpent give me and I did eat. Ingon ni iba gihatag sa bitin sa kuwa o akong gikaon. The final sin. Ang pinaka final na sin. They were driven out of the garden. Sila gipagawas sa Dios gikan sa harden sa tanan. And an angel was kept at the gate. O ang angel sa Dios mo nagbantay sa pultahan. They were not restored into that garden. Wala sila gibalik dito sa garden. And that's what we find. Mauna siya ang atong tanan. In their strength. Tanawon ato. In their own decision. Sa ibang decision. There was no restoration. Walay sa kung wala kan kung wala tama nga. Christ has come. Christ has come. And because you bore your sin, because by stripes you are healed, the life you lost, now you have eternal life restored unto you. Because you lost, now you have that health restored unto you. And tonight, restoration. You understand? Restoration. Yes, nasabtan ba nato ang pagbalik pa ko sa... What Adam could not be restored to, we have restoration. Ang wala na ang kuni Adam na pagbalik ka nila sa atin, kita makakakakuha natin. What Cain could not be restored to, we have restoration. Ang wala na kuha ni Cain na pagbasigulit ka niya, atong makuha. What the people that lived at the time of Noah, the grace they couldn't have now, that grace brings us restoration. Ang mga tao na buhi sa panahon ni Noah, wala nila na angko ng pagbalik ka nila sa Diyos, karun atong maangko ng grasya sa Diyos. Saul, the first king of Israel. Si Saul, ang unang hari sa Israel. He lost that royalty. Nawala sa iyang gingarian. He lost the possibility of reigning. Nawala sa iyang posibilidad sa paghari. He could not be restored to royalty. Wala siya na pasiguli o nibalik sa iyang paghari. But Jesus said, I come to do something for you. Ingun ni Jesus, muad to ko, kay ako kang himuan ako sa kamutang. That what they lost forever. 
Nawala ang tusantod. He now comes to restore unto us. Akong ibalik din ha kanimo. And he gave a pledge. O giyang gihatag ang iyang pangako sa ad. The pledge of his resurrection. Ang pagbalik ka na to diya sa presensya sa Diyos. He died for your sin. Na matay sa sa atong masalap. And he came back from the grave. O siya na buwi sa gigan sa mga lugnanan. To come and tell you. O niabot siya para sultian ka. I paid the whole price. O iyang gibayran ang tanang presyo. I provide everything. Akong gitagbo ang tanang. My resurrection is the pledge. Ang akong. That restoration can be yours tonight. Ang ang akong pagkabanhaw mauna ang akong pangako o ang pagkabanhaw maibo karong gabi. Look at Psalm 51. I'm reading from verse 12. Tanaw na to ang Salmo 51. Psalm 51 verse 12. Salmo 51 versikulo 2. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Ibalik. Ngari ka na ko ang kalipay sa imong kaluwasan. There's restoration tonight. Dunay pagbalik karun sa Ginoo. Restoration to the joy of salvation. Pagbalik kanimo sa kalipay sa kaluwasan. There's restoration tonight. Dunay pagbalik. Restoration to the peace in salvation. Pagbalik sa kalinaw dina sa kaluwasan. Being justified by faith. We have peace with God. Sa diyang gitagan, kagingpit, kagawasan, pinagi sa pagtungo, sa pagtungo, sa kalinaw. There's reconciliation tonight. Dunay pagbalik ka na to. You have been separated by your sin. You have been separated from God. Gipulag ka sa mga sa atong masala o gipulag ka niya sa Diyos. And He says as you call upon Him. Ingon niya ang tanang mo tawag ka niya. We're reconciled unto God. Iyang ibalik na to sa Diyos. We have the victory of salvation. Ang imong kadaugan, the triumph is salvation. Ang kad ang kaning kaluwasan nga nagadalaw kadaugan. And as we call on Him tonight, samtang mo tawag tasi ang pangalan karong gabi. The joy, ang kalipay, the peace, ang kalinaw, the redemption, ang paglukat, the triumph, ang kadaugan that comes with salvation. Mo abut din ha sa kaluwasan. It's restoration tonight. Ibalik ka karong gabi. Because it's resurrection pledged that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Kay saad ka na sa Dios ang tanang mo tawag sa yung pangalan maluwas. And so we come. O karon mo 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 in your salvation. Ang kalipay, ang kalinaw din na sa kaluwasan. The reconciliation, the redemption in your salvation. At pagpasiguli o ang paglukat diha sa ibang kaning And everyone that prays that prayer. O ang tanan nga mo, dalaan ang mga pag-ampo. God will answer. Ang Diyos mo tubag gayon. And the hells you have lost. The hells you have lost. Ang, 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 ah, the victory that you have lost. Ang kadaugan ng imong na nawala. The triumph you have lost. Ang kadaugan ng imong na nawala sa imo. When sin came, sickness came. Ang ang tao ko makasala mo abut ang sakit. And since that time. O gikan atong igayuna. Sickness in every village of the world. Na ay sakit sa matag dapit sa tibukan. Sickness in every province of the world. Na ang kaning sakit sa matag probinsya sa tibukan. Sickness in every community in the world. Na ay mga sakit balatian sa tanang komunidad sa tibukan ibutan. Among the rich. Diha sa mga dato. Among the poor. Diha sa mga pobre makabus. Among those at home. Katong mga na ay. Among those in the prison. Among those in the prison, na adito sa kulungan, sickness everywhere. Maskin asa ka dun ay sakit. But when Jesus comes to you, pero sa diyang mo abut si Jesus di ako ni mo. Sickness will find its way out. Mangita o agianan pagawas ang imong sakit. Christ comes in. Si Jesus mo sulod. Disease has to go out. Ang imong masakit mo gawas. Sickness is of darkness. Ang kanang sakit din na sa kangit. Healing is coming from Jesus, the light of the world. Ang kayo ang gikan kang Jesus, ang kahayag sa kalibutan. You enter into a room na ay kaning dapit luna. There's total darkness. Na ingno ng kangit-ngit. And you don't want the darkness. Dili ka gusto sa kangit-ngit. You don't begin to fight. Magsukod ka, magkikamal ka. Don't begin to cry. 
You don't begin to shout. You don't begin to roll on the ground. The darkness doesn't recognize all that. What do you do to drive the darkness away? Look at that wall on your side there. There's a switch there. Just at the touch of the switch, light will come, darkness will vanish. Salamang kapag pindot ang mga switch, ang kagitgit mo kawas o mo mo puli ang kahayag. What do you do to take the darkness of sickness away? Atong unsa ba kinang lanato para atong pagawaso na kagitgit? Look at the switch over there. Pangita ang switch. His name is Jesus. Ang pangalan sa switch is Jesus. Mention that name. Imong isulti ang pangalan. Mention that name. Isulti ang pangalan niya. The sickness will vanish away. Ang imong mga sakit mawala sa imong. Restoration will come. Ang pagbasikuli mo abot. To your heart. Yes, sa imong kasing-kasing. To your soul. Sa imong kalag. To your body. Sa imong lawas. Total restoration tonight. Ang tibuo ka pagbalik sa imo sa Dios. You get salvation tonight. Makaangkon ka kaluwasan karong gabi. You get forgiveness tonight. Makaangkon ka kapasayloan karong gabi. You get healing tonight. Makabaton ka kaayuhan karong gabi. Say amen. Ingin amen. It's bowed and eyes closed. Atong idukwa tong ulo o ipiyong ang atong mga mga. It's bowed. And eyes closed. Atong ipiyong atong atong idukwa tong maulo ipiyong atong mga mata. You want that salvation? Gusto ba nimo ang kanang kaluwasan? Only Jesus can give. Si Jesus lamang ang makatag. You want that forgiveness that only Jesus can give. Gusto ba nimo ang kapasayluanan? Si Jesus lamang ang makatag. You want freedom that only Jesus can give. Gusto ba kagkalayaan kagawasan si Jesus lamang ang makatag? You want the joy of salvation. The peace of salvation. The triumph of salvation. The victory of salvation. That's what you want. That's why you came. No other one can give you this salvation. Only Jesus can say. Si Jesus lamang ang makaluwas. So wherever you are, maskin asa ka karon. You raise up your hand. Imong ita asa imong kamot. I want salvation. Igna gusto ko kaluwasan. I want forgiveness. Gusto ko kapasayluanan. I want freedom. Gusto ko gingpit ng kalayaan. I want Christ to break the chain of sin for my life. Gusto nako si Kristo yung bukto ng kadina sa salak sa kwang kinabuhi. Raise up that hand. Wonderful. As you are raising up your hand, please stand up. You want that salvation? Stand up wherever you are. You're asking for salvation tonight? Stand up wherever you are. You're turning away from sin and turning to the Savior tonight? Stand up wherever you are. Gusto ka mo talikod sa sala, sa ingpit, o matubang ka sa ginoo, tindog ka karong gabi. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Kinsa ka tong mo tawag sa pangalan ni Jesus, mamaluwas. You're telling God from the depth of your heart. Ing na ang ginugikan sa imo kasing-kasing, mutuo ako. I believe. Mutuo ako. I believe. Mutuo ako. I believe. Mutuo ako sa mga kalakaw ka. Kinsa katong? I am that you so ever. Ako katong muingon nga. And I want the salvation of the Lord tonight. Nga nagkinanglan sa kapasay lungan. I want His forgiveness tonight. Nagkinanglan sa kapasay lungan. I believe. Nagatuo ako. Be it unto you according to your faith. Himuon ka na sa Dios sumala sa imong pagtuo. Raise up your hand and pray for you. Ipataas ang imong makamut o ako magampu kanimo. Raise up your hand and pray for you. Itaas ang imong makamut o magampu ko para kanimo. Father in heaven, amahan nga sa langit. We thank you because you so loved us. Salamat kay grabe ang imong pagtuo. That you sent your only begotten Son. Nga imo. That whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. Lord, I believe. 
Your promise will be fulfilled. And everyone here that has come, they have come because they believe. And they have told you, I believe. I pray, Lord, you will take away their sin. Cancel their condemnation. Blot out the remembrance of their sins. Write their names in the book of life. Change their lives. Transform their character. And grant them the victory in salvation. Who answers prayer? Dios God God who answers prayer. We know you have answered. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. They are saved. Thank you. Salamat. In Jesus' name we pray. Sa pangalan ni Jesus kami nagampo. Everybody say Amen. Ang tanan magasinggit o Amen. Put your hands to bed. Palakpak na to, daigun na to ang atung buhay ng Dios. Clap. Palakpak. Clap. Palakpak kusog. Rejoice. Magmaya ka. Stay where you are. Puyo asa ka nagtindog karon. We're going to call on a pastor to come. And organize and uh, direct the council. After that, I'll be coming back to pray for you. There's healing tonight for everyone. Me most memorable decision of your life tonight and those of you who have given your life to Christ this evening please remain where you are with your hands raised up make sure you make our counselors get your attention so that they will attend to you our counselors, please go through the congregation in the front, in the middle, at the back, everywhere, and make sure you take down the details of every one of our brethren who have given their lives to Christ tonight. Please keep standing. Please raise your hand up in the Alpha location and everywhere in the world where we are gathered. You have heard the word of God. The Spirit of God has given you understanding of the word. And you have made a very, very important decision of your life. To give your life to Jesus, to have your sins forgiven, to have your name written in the book of life. Please keep your hand up as our counselors come to you to take down your details. Give them your correct name. Give them all other information that would be very important important towards getting, getting into contact with you after today. Counselors, please go everywhere in the camp, identify the people, and make sure you take their decision, I mean, their, their, their I mean, information about them. Wherever you are, keep standing. Those of you who have made this important decision today, keep standing with your hand up. Our counselors are coming to you. 
If they don't see you, and you see them passing, get their attention. We want to get correct information about you. That is very, very important for us to maintain contact with you in order to help you in your newfound faith. Please listen to the following for online converts. If you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link. There is a link on your screen. GCKHQ.org forward slash connect. Below your, below your player, play, player, please click or visit the link and fill out the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ the Lord. Again, if you are watching online, make sure you send, your, send, send us a message. All right, through the link below your player, please click or visit the link and fill out the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via radio or television and you have just given your life to Christ, please send your name phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to the number I'm reading out now, plus 234-915-444-9263. I repeat, plus 234-915-444. 444-9263. Four, 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, there is also going to be a special meeting with the new converts of last night and those of today. For all those who gave their, I mean, for all of you who gave your lives to Christ, tomorrow by 3 p.m., at the main hall to my right, the main hall to my right, please endeavor to be there. Don't miss out. If you had given your life to Christ last night, and those of you who are giving, you have given your life to Christ now, make sure by 3 p.m. tomorrow, you are at the hall by my right hand for lunch hour with Jesus. Amen. There will also be a special online banquet on 7th of July 2024. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Those who are, have connected online and you have given your life to Christ Please keep that, this date in mind. Sunday 7th of next month. Make sure you are available. Alpha, loca Alpha Locations. Alpha Locations believe, uh, Believers Banquet is also coming up on 7th of July 2024 at Deeper Life Bible churches are nearest to you. For the Alpha location, it is going to hold in the main hall to my right hand. All, and also in all nations, regions, and states. The Lord will bless you richly as you attend at 3 p.m. on the said date.
in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Please counsel us. Uh, we are still waiting for you to take down the detailed information required from all the new converts of today. Once again, if you have given your life to Christ, make sure you make our counselors get your attention so that you do not miss out. Wherever you are, raise your hand up. Counselors, look out for them and make sure you write down their names. In all locations, all over the world, please make sure the names of all converts of tonight are appropriately written with all related details. You have given your life to Jesus and the counselors have not yet attended to you. They have not taken down your name. Please raise your hand up wherever you are. Let our counselors identify you. Write down your name, your address, and other important informations. Those details are very, very essential for our continuous contact with you to help you in your newfound faith from tonight. Counselors, if you have taken down the names of all the people around you, please indicate so that we will know that the job has been done. Those of you who are at the back, those in front, those in the middle, you will want to know whether there are still others that have not been attended to. Praise the Lord. Very soon. Everybody say amen to that. Very soon. Very soon. Tonight. 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 Not another night. Not tomorrow. Tonight. Tonight. The Almighty God, through His servant, our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui will touch your life and your miracle, your sign, your wonder, your blessing will come and you will give testimony. I say you will give testimony tonight, 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 your miracle has come. The servant of God is coming to pray for all of us now. Get ready. Amen. Heaven is ready. You are ready. As we pray in the name of Jesus, your healing will come immediately. Deliverance from the powers and the chains that bind you will come immediately. Signs and wonders will come upon your life. Raise up your hand for your healing. Lay the other hand where you have the disease or the, or the sickness. Your miracle is coming now. We're ready to pray. 
Andam na ka God is ready to heal. Ang Dios andam sa pagayo. Father in Jesus name. Amahan sa pangalan ni Jesus. Great God. Dako gamay ng Dios. God. Milagroso ng Dios. Powerful God. Kusgan ng Dios. With unlimited possibilities. Na ay walay limit ng posibilidad. I pray Lord touch everyone. Heal everyone now in Jesus name. Nagampo ako ayo ang tanduga sa pangalan ni Jesus. Miracles for everyone. Milagro para sa matagusa. Healing for everyone. Kayuan sa matagusa. Deliverance for everyone. Kagawasan sa matagusa. Do it to Lord now in Jesus name. May tapo karon gabi sa pangalan ni Jesus. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Gikan sa imong ulo hangtod sa imong lapalapa. Anywhere there's sickness. Maskin asang sakit. Anywhere there's disease. Maskin asang balatian. The power of the Lord takes it away from you now in Jesus' name. Ang kaong sa ginoo tanggalo niya gikan kanimo sa pangalan ni Jesus. Madness, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. Ang kanang pagkalipong pugawas ka sa pangalan ni Jesus. The chains of lunacy, I command you, be broken in Jesus' name. Ang kanang ngas sa katina mabugto sa pangalan ni Jesus. All the afflictions of the devil, all the attacks of the devil, any part of your body, any part in your system, I cancel that from your life in Jesus' name. Ang tanang ibong ni Satanas sa ibong lawas. Irisun ka na sa pangalan ni Jesus. Any internal sickness? Ang tanang masakit. Any pain on the inside? Mas kinun sa masakit sa ibang kinasuluran. Cancer? Cancer? Ulcer? Ulcer? Ernia? Ernia? Asthma? Kanang asthma lisun na ginawa. Any problem in your kidney? Ang imong problema sa imong kidney. Be healed in Jesus' name. Mamaayo sa pangalan ni Jesus. Any other problem you have? Na kay problema sa imong kasinglas. You're taking it here and there. You are not healed. Nagadto ka maski nasa pirwa ka na ayo. Your healing is now. Ang imong kayuhan karon. Lord, touch. Ginoo ni kapa. Transform their lives now in Jesus' name. Us bang ilang kinabi karon sa pangalan ni Jesus. Lord, I pray those deaf ears be opened now in Jesus' name. Amen. Ginoo mga sirado ang kagadalungan maapi sa pangalan ng Jesus. Be loose in Jesus' name. Amang nagdila mabuian makasulti ka karong gabi. Ano sa pain, arthritis, elbow, shoulder, knee, ankle, waist, anywhere pain, come out in Jesus' name. Ang tanan ni mong masakit sa baga ba mas kinasa ng masakit? Sa tritis mo gawa sa pangalan ni Jesus. Blind eyes, open those ears and see clearly in Jesus' name. Ang butang mata, maapli o makakita ka glaro sa pangalan ni Jesus. Any challenge of any description. Ang tanan ng mga hagit sa mas kinunsa man ng pangalan. Any problem of any description. Mas kinunsa man ng pangalana sa problema. The merciful healing of Christ comes to you. Ang maluluyon nga kayuhan sa Dios mabut kani mo karon. The wonderful signs of Christ comes to you now. Ang kaiban kaibulungan nga timailan sa ginoo mo abut kani mo karon. Total healing. Tipuot na kayuhan. Total deliverance. Tipuot na kagawasan. Complete redemption. Complete nga paglukat. Comes upon everyone. Mo abut sa matagusa karon gabi. To my right over there. Dito sa akong tuo. To my left over there. Sa akong wala dito. At the center over there. Di sa sentro o dito. Over the television, over the radio. Dito sa TV, sa radio karong gabi. Online, everywhere. Online, mas kinasa. Healing. Ang kayuhan. Wonders without number. Ang kay bulungan na dili may hap. Lord, let there be confirmation. Ginoo itugod na doon ay pagkumpirma. In everyone. Sa matagusa. Over everyone. Dito sa kinabuhi sa matagusa. Thank you, Lord. Salamat, Gino. It is done. Nahitabu na humana. Your miracle has come. Ang imo milagro ni Abut na. It's right there with you. Ognaan na din na kanimo karun. Thank you, Lord. Salamat, Gino. For honoring the name of Jesus. Sa imong pagpasidungog sa pangalan ni Jesus. Jesus' name I pray.